So whippets are back in town. Um, I used to work at O'Reilly's, and there was this one mechanic who did whippets. It was like a weird, like in his van, oh, no tent. He was early. Yeah, yeah. This is 2019. I'm at O'Reilly's, and he would have a commercial account. People would actually go to him. He's a mobile mechanic. He would drive up from Vancouver, Portland, back and forth, just going to people's cars and fixing them. Now, he always had like a bit of an erratic behavior, and I didn't know this till like later. But he was like Spanish of some kind. He didn't look Spanish. Mm. He looked more like, like, like Russian or Czech. It was just like a weird mm. mix. I don't know if the whippets make you change your ethnicity, <laughs> your tone, yeah, or something. But yeah, you would do whippets, and uh, it would just be like the weirdest thing, like somebody's in their car at like a parking lot and just like a, a huff like he just had a straight can like like an aerosol can or some sh- like some some to a degree of a whip it i just call it that because i'm using it as a blanket term i'm not familiar with whip it terminology <laughs> yeah i don't even know what the high does to you but we'll probably get into that in a second i think it just makes you like uh is it like a head high or is I it i don't know i think it like maybe it's like a space mm. like you did oh. yeah can we get that verified? Could we, being could blinked in the looking? space, bro. What, I'm going off like what do. I think it looks like, you know? It looks like somebody is about to doze off. Like To me, I, I would hate the feeling of it, but I feel like it feels like that right when you're about to fall asleep and then you like lift your head up really fast. I feel like that in-between part is what it, it would feel like. I have no idea. Hmm. This guy would do whippets and go work on people's cars. And I... Oh, <laughs> wow. He was like a fully functional... like. He was just contributing to society. Fully functioning addict. <laughs> yeah, and he was yeah, just... Yeah, there's a lot of those. Yeah, of course. Well, I would, I, you say a lot, but... There is. You've seen, it like, these people... F- functioning addicts, bro? Bro, I'm a functioning addict, bro. <laughs> a whippet addict? I'm talking about whippets, though. <laughs> nah, I don't doubt nah, that somebody... Nah, yeah, but the actual extreme functioning addicts... Yeah, yeah, yeah. There are, like, a number of people who do, like, hard drugs... Mm. Like people who take pills, like there's a lot more drugs than just oh, crack yeah. and heroin. You oh know? yeah, for sure. So the people who do whippets, the chance of them having a job is pretty mm. high. You know, like a lot of them do. I'm pretty sure the dude I saw at the gas station had a job or some shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like you could be a functioning addict. You know, that's interesting. Um, but you're kind of killing yourself too. Still, yeah. Like, well, you know, you're still I mean, dying. maybe. It could make you... I mean, I'm not going to actually say that out loud. <laughs> Hello, guys. Welcome back to the Flybug Podcast. Today, you got your biggest, bestest host, Sincere. I'm joined with co-host Marcos. That's my name. <laughs> Thank you all so much for tuning in. Uh, please make sure to ring that bell notification, like, comment, subscribe. We were in the middle of discussion. Thank you guys for tuning in, by the way, of Whippets. Oh, hell yeah. I, I, for some reason, we were just sitting down. And I, I was just curious. I was like, Sincere, what's this can of Whippets doing in your house? <laughs> Damn, bro. And then we opened up the conversation. So uh, we'll go ahead and fill you in. We've seen two instances of people doing Whippets, right? No, I've, I've <clears> met. <throat> I That dude, I didn't see do Whippets. You saw him by the Galaxy Gas? Yeah. Don't get I, Galaxy Gas. I've seen gas, a girl do Whippets. It's crazy. So. A girl do it? Yeah. Okay. I yeah, mean, this was early, as, though. Early, yeah, okay. There's is, there's a surge I feel just in terms of what I've seen online, um, also people too, of whippets coming around. The idea behind it, from our understanding, is it's a it's a laughing gas. It gives you like this euphoric kind of like nosh, not nauseous, but more like a dizziness state. Yeah. We have never done it, to my knowledge. I've it's never done euphoric, it. Euphoric, yeah. Yeah, euphoric. Uh, if you were, yeah, yeah. So I mean, I've I've recently gotten my wasn't he taken out a few months ago mm. and the laughing gas did give me like some relaxation so I, I can understand that aspect if somebody wants that yeah like it put your brain at ease right right however i'm not sure because mine was like over time and it's just kind of like breathing in normally how i've seen people do it it's in person well one person do it when i was working at o'reilly's you seen him actually like he would do it in front of in you in his car he would do it in his car uh, he would just take like this aerosol no can tents. No, no tents in the van. Mobile mechanic, he would just like like spike his face, you know, or do something, inhale fast. If he wasn't in his car longer than fifteen seconds mm. before he jumped out the window of his car, <laughs> and then my coworker Roy would be like, "Hey man, watch out!" I'm like, "What's up?" He said, "That guy's on whippets." I'm like, "What?" Watch out. <laughs> He'd be like, okay. Then he came in and yeah. and and his his he, he had erratic behavior. 
fully functioning though. He told me that you're making model of the cars. He needed them fast, obviously, you know. <laughs> He's like, come on, we gotta whip it, whip it, whip it. <laughs> and uh that was interesting to see. Yeah. A girl see I, I wanted I'm kinda confused as to you say a girl saw or you seen a girl do it before. Yeah. What was that experience like? It was just because back then, like what year was that? Twenty nineteen. I would say this is like around like literally around the same time i would say mm. there was a spike in people doing whippets before yeah 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 of course but like when that happened people were looking at them like crackheads yeah you know? yeah like, everyone yeah. was like whoa that shit's fucking crazy like you're just mm. killing your brain cells like there's nothing to it yeah yeah and so when i saw her doing it i was just thinking like that's just some weird dumb crackhead yeah stuff. yeah and i don't know i just think you got to be some type of dumb to like of look course. at like what it is and be like yeah that seems like a good idea and you, then just do it, you yeah. Know? Despite I, the feeling, that, it's that mentality is so strange to me on so many levels. I went on um a, like a Tinder date with this one girl, and she was like, "Yeah, I'm like new to Portland and stuff, and you're trying to meet people. I only hang out with my mom and stuff. I don't really hang out with my old friends." I'm like, "Why is that? What happened with your old friends?" She was like, "Oh well, for one, like we were in Seattle, like that's where my group used to be at, and they just got into like a bunch of weird stuff." And for me, I'm I'm nosy, as you could tell. Mm -hmm. You know, I gotta get the details. I gotta get the details. You know, what did they do? And she said, "Well, they would invite me over as a couple. They used to be my friends. We would just take Xanax, and I would just watch them have sex. Like, and this would be done at different places. Like, they would just go to like different hotels and just do the same thing. And also, like, with Xanax, sometimes even do coke." Right. And she would just watch them have sex? And she would just watch them have sex. Like, that was her, like, fetish or kink or something. Because mm. she even asked me. She was like, where are the hoes at? Like, why aren't you getting into nothing? I'm all like, that's weird. I thought it was on Tinder. You know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> I thought this was. I mean, but after hearing that, my brain went from, it's like, I was even turned off. My, mm. my ambitions for the night were no longer for anything, like, to relieve myself. I was like, what is your life experience? Because... Ending up in a hotel room watching your two friends just have sex be like a normal thing off copious amounts of drugs. What went wrong in your life <laughs> mm. to really be like, this is my Saturday night? But she had talked about it like she was like reminiscing, like she missed it. And I was like, why mm. is that? She was like, well, with them, they gave me a lot of access to different stuff. So I never had Xanax before. I had it with them. I never had Coke before. I've, I've done it with them. Mm. I would drink every now and then, whatever. It kind of gets me there. Uh, smoke weed's cool. It's kind of like mid, which is kind of crazy because you could just smoke enough weed and be good <laughs> off whatever drug potentially, you know. I don't know. Xanax is different, probably. Yeah, but if you get like, if you get high, I feel like you would just chill out. You know what I mean? Like yeah, you wouldn't yeah. really want to go chase after anything else. Me personally, I'm just a fully functional same person though. I don't think like some people. Um, she had mentioned. <laughs> One of my things is, I'm not ashamed to say it, and that's how I knew I was going to hear some bullshit. Mm. I have tried meth before. And I said, hmm. Oh. And this is not like a, I wasn't going on a date with like a 40-year-old crack. <laughs> she seemed like a normal person, a couple years older than me, but just like this like mixed mixed black girl, you know, had a mom now, and stuff now like she's that. black, huh? Yeah, yeah, yeah. After all these things. But she had just kind of like been isolated for some point. She said she just moved around a lot. So when she found those friends, she wanted to keep them, which is mm. why she would do some stuff. Okay, cool. Peer pressure. Mm. You're an adult. You know, whatever. Yeah. Um, <clears throat> but she said, I tried meth once. And I was like, what? Try meth what, once? What do you mean? Like, she, she, she said, I feel that it's important to try everything at least once because you don't know if you'll like it or not. <laughs> I said... I don't think you know how to live. <laughs> There's right. no way. I told her, I said, why would you do something that's highly addictive? Yeah. Makes you really crash out yeah. for what seems to be like a high that you didn't even think you would need up yeah. until you do meth. Now, she mentioned she only tried it when she didn't like it. Bad taste. Okay. Weird. I don't even know how that works. I can imagine that. Yeah, I've never done smoke, yeah. inject, nothing. I it don't even know how to. Bad, so I could probably imagine it smells yeah, similar. Yeah, yeah, exactly. And yeah. then she said that her friends got into it <laughs> deep. And so she was like, I'm not going to kick it with y'all no more. And then they mm. moved. 
she posted a picture on Tinder, put none of this in her bio, and <clears throat> from a meth user. And uh, yeah, so to me, whippets are one of those things that you should not try. I know people throw like fun words around, like galaxy gas. Yeah, you know, to make it sound less. That's what. Well, I think we should probably ban the galaxy print. Mm. Because the mind's like, if we again, meth is obviously bad. Yeah, you look yeah. at people who do meth, you're an insane person. Yeah, whippets. A couple years ago, you were an insane person, bro. They threw a fucking print on that shit, and now YNs are crashing out globally. Yeah, that's what happened with the. There's a huge vape epidemic too especially like around that 2019 yeah that's where yeah. galaxy prints bro they put like flavors on there that high like tropical punch with pineapple on the side like <laughs> it's be throwing <laughs> and you just be there i mean you're a former vapor vapor yeah what was that like that transition into and out of it congratulations by the way because oh. it's serious like people don't actually take it seriously yeah uh, going into it, I don't remember how I started vaping, mm. but I remember when I was doing it pretty consistently yeah. and having to go buy them and stuff. Yeah. The thing with me and about vapes, actually, I'm pretty sure I started from parties and just getting drunk and hitting people's vapes. Mm. And then it got to the point where I would, I would go buy my own. Because yeah, that was yeah. the biggest factor about vapes is that they're like 30, 40 bucks a piece. Oh, yeah. And I'm yeah. like, this doesn't even. I'm not getting high on it, so I'm like, forty bucks to oh, s- yeah. smoke is a lot. So it was already it was very taxing every time to do yeah, it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I would get sick off those really mm. easy because when I do things, I I do it very heavy and a lot. So mm. when I have the vape and it's readily available, I'm hitting it a lot. And then so while also. The nicotine and stuff is going through my body at mm-hmm. really rapid harsh and yeah, rapid yeah. paces. Um, I'm also getting nick sick and shit right before bed and all Dang. the time. So I'm like, this isn't even like it was. It was easy to kind of walk away or transition. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. The to cons outweigh the pros. Shit, yeah, I I wasn't really fucking with the zen like that. I thought I was. Mm. Like I even was watching the videos to try to. Like get into it, yeah. And I just yeah. couldn't get myself addicted. Just chewing to it, bro. tobacco, yeah. <laughs> you feel that getting addicted? That's, that's <laughs> yeah. pretty. That's pretty hilarious. Yeah, I was researching them too. Yeah, like, yeah, why yeah. Why zins are good? <laughs> <laughs> Fall, I was trying to drink all the Kool Aid, bro, and they couldn't get me. <laughs> so, how long were you on vape for? Um, I feel like I saw you like a year, like because like it's year. so casual. Yeah, you know, like it became socially acceptable. People who pull out vapes, they don't get a whip it effect. Yeah, like or I would I, say, by like socially acceptable, they don't get denied socially. You know. Yeah. Like cigarettes have a bad stigma around them because the smell, right? Mm. But if you have like some crazy blueberry stuff, it might smell pleasing, and then you're not as off putting as if you just smell like complete tobacco. Smoking e-cigarettes is. Garbage, bro. Yeah. Smoke real cigarettes. <laughs> Stop being scared. You got all the science down, bro. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, this mic right shit here. is tricky, bro. You got to have a lot of practice. Man, you got to be stand up comedian. So, exiting, right? Exiting? Yeah. Oh, like exiting said, the vapes? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You yeah. said that was easy. Time frame, I think you said two weeks or something like that, right? Um, As far as like addiction goes, mm. um, well, I mean, I just transferred the addiction into mm. like regular tobacco. Okay. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So yeah, yeah, yeah. I still have like a nicotine and stuff addiction, except I don't have like the whatever the artificial flavorings or mm. vegetable oils and stuff that could be in vapes that I don't know about. Yeah. It's just not that. Okay. You know what I mean? <laughs> you just use vegetable oil to cook now. <laughs> yeah. Shit. You stop smoking yeah. it, now you're cooking it. <laughs> yeah. Okay. What a start. <clears throat> I gotta learn golf. Do you I, have yeah. to learn golf? Yeah, for sure. Who do you have to go play in golf? Bro, it's who haven't you played in golf? You know what I mean? Like you thinking about, oh, I don't know the place. Oh, I don't know nobody. You, think you could golf. go there and meet the niggas there. Yeah, that's how it works, bro. Yeah, what yeah. you gonna like walk up with your bag? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you say, hey man, look, yeah, <laughs> they'll invite you if you're good. They'll be like, hey, I could beat you, or you gotta show me how to do that. 
they're a very it's a very like not niche group because obviously a bunch of people play golf yeah. but they see something and they're like you gotta show me how to do that and then you just talk to them they all have usually the same issues they all probably hate their wives and mm. drive a nice car and have kids that don't care about them i'm generalizing i don't know nothing yeah. about golf people yet but yeah. what i would say is the sport itself i'm like interested in mm. just from aspect of playing it I'm, i don't know any of the fundamentals any of the highest ranking players except yeah, for tiger, tiger woods, woods obviously yeah everybody knows that but i would say just the amount of influence i've seen people who play golf like trump like i think even like a few days ago a week ago mm. youtube video came out he's golfing with some <laughs> i can't remember his name it's a major golfer though <laughs> and it broke 12 million views yeah. right and they play for one hour and they're just going back and forth trying to get the best score. And it's like, yo, Trump spent more time on the golf field than in office, is what I heard during his first presidential mm. yeah, uh, term. Yeah, I heard something like that. Yeah. yeah, so I'm wondering, like, is it that good that you'd rather be here than, I guess, running the U.S.? You know what I mean? I think. I could be wrong. I have no idea. Anything. It's better than running yeah, the U.S.? bro. What are you going to do? Imagine being in the office. And you're running yeah. the U.S. Yeah. What the fuck are you? I don't know, dude. I feel like I would just <laughs> I would just be walking Time around faster. the office. Yeah, yeah. Just, hmm. What can I do to improve this colony? Hmm. What is China talking about? <laughs> Hello, I mean, China. But, I'm saying, but you could, though. Like, it's like, the, it's a super, if not the ultimate power, right, to just have under your belt. No. You would, you would not want to be president? No. What would you okay? Is there any political status you would like to have or position? Yeah, 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 yeah. Which one? Um, vice president. <laughs> I don't know what the vice president does. Actually, bro. no, 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 bro. Because there's some like I just don't know what they are. Mm. That's a thing. Because I know there's some people who get paid. That's a thing that we don't know who they are, but they get paid. Yeah, you know yeah. what I mean. Like obviously, I, like senators, representatives, yeah. House representatives, speakers. I, I'll be like a mayor. You'd be a mayor? Yeah. That How shit is, is stressful. I don't know. That's stressful probably... as you make it, bro. No, dude, like, I, okay. Maybe, maybe mayor of, of a city, not like a govern, uh, governor, right? Like, you wouldn't want to be like a Tina Kotek, right? Mm. You want to be more like a Ted Wheeler. Yeah. Okay. Just be friendly to people. And people just hate like, you for the people state People hate the... you if you're being a weird asshole. No, but all you gotta if do is you do nothing be... about the homeless and people are like, never mind. Just pretend like you are. Just right, be bro. like, oh my god. Ted Wheeler, <laughs> net worth. Yeah. 1.3 million. Woo! Yeah, go ahead. Sign me up, bro. Crazy. Let me see what his salary is, though. Ted Wheeler salary. He makes $143,666 annually. Mm. Doing what? It's not The mm. mayor of Portland. What are you doing, though? I mean... Well, okay, let's see. Uh, Other than calling yourself. I got to figure out what mayors do. Yeah, bro. We need. What the hell is he responsible Jeremy. for? Jeremy, what do mayors do? Administer the affairs of the city, including controlling and administrating the city, the city's finances, and adopting administrative rules. Prepare, submit reports to council, such as reports uh, advising council on the financial condition and needs of the city. Your political office filled through a munis municipal, I probably said that wrong, municipal election. Voters choose you in. You oversee the day-to-day -day operations of local government. I never understood the mask in the car. I'd get upset. People would be in the car by themselves, just yeah. breathing hot air the whole ride. Yeah. <laughs> it's a long ride. <laughs> they just, and they're just, they look, always look mad. Nobody wears a mask looking happy, from what I could tell by the eyes. They would just be by themselves in the car with the mask on and I'm just like am I tripping or somebody I think you would do this too you would talk to a point where your mask would drop, drop below your nose yeah. and you would keep talking yeah. yeah ruining the whole point or pull it down to talk yeah, yeah I pull it down yeah. to talk <laughs> hey uh do you uh, <laughs> I don't feel so well <laughs> yeah don't vote for this guy right here <laughs> just cough out the mask <laughs> yeah man I got hit with this one awkward moment I was a uh, I was at the DMV wearing a mask, and it was my mask from home. They didn't have any there. From I mean, maybe I was probably just too scared. I'm 19. Mm. I'm probably too scared to ask somebody. You know, mm. I sneeze in my mask. <laughs> it's 
<laughs> I had no idea what the protocol was for <laughs> just having fresh knees. <laughs> yeah. It's not like it wasn't obvious. I got a blue mask on with like a dark blue print <laughs> right here in the center. I'm like, damn, <laughs> nobody was say nothing to me. <laughs> nobody said, bless you. Nobody said, here's yeah, an extra bro. mask. Everybody was just like. You're lucky just... them alarms didn't go off, bro. <laughs> I was just in a state of purgatory, bro. I just didn't know what to do with my face. Yeah. I've had a lot of those sneezes in the mask. Oh yeah, yeah. But it was I was working at Home Depot during it, and it ended. I was in the garden department. Mm. My allergies was Pollen. going crazy. Oh my gosh! What Terrible. I would do is since I would sneeze, it would bubble, like you know. <laughs> so I would just hold my face you back. Talk to the, yeah. Oh, I would just hold my face back from the mask so the wet part isn't touching my. Until it dried out eventually. You, know? <laughs> you couldn't have got a new ma- mine. There wasn't for some reason. Yeah, no, I eventually, you know, I'll switch it out. Eventually. Oh, eventually. But, but I'll be sneezing a lot, bro. <laughs> and new kids are born today, you know, this year even, and missed out on everything. Oh, on yeah. Everything. Like zero character development, like no lore to their story. These kids are blank pieces of paper. <laughs> They missed everything. They missed the no, election. No, nine eleven. They missed. Oh my, yeah, I mean, yeah. I was yeah. starting, you know, day one, bro. <laughs> when they America was early. founded, they met. Yeah, no, I'm talking I mean, about. Bro, I'm talking about our lives started, bro. Two thousand one. Yeah. Nine eleven happened. After that, you remember those metal balls? I mean, yeah, it was, uh, there was a stock market crash, but. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, the two thousand eight stock market crash was cool to all too, but. Bro, that <laughs> those two things is what he remembers from history. Yeah, okay. Yeah, yeah. Well, it was either the housing be market that yeah. or the 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 moss had you know they grew them on like like you get Albert Einstein. Chia. Chia. Yeah, 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 chia pest. I don't know what you're talking about. Yeah, I could have said chia. <laughs> I'm over here singing the tune. Chia, chia, hey man, chia. I loved it. It was great. I wanted a Scooby Doo one, but I oh, never yeah? knew how to order online, like or oh. call to call. Like, bro, that, sh- that was so foreign to me. <laughs> Just call right now and have our service open. They used to say crazy stuff from eight to eight Central Time, <laughs> eleven ninety nine plus tax. I was like, what is? What are all these numbers? Bro, the part I was confused about is I'll be like, they'd be like, the call one eight hundred, get the stuffed animal dot com. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. How the fuck do you type letters? <laughs> Where's the letter input? <laughs> yeah, and I don't know why, but I I was up like 2 a.m. just watching these damn commercials i don't even know what show pop oh george lopez i was watching george lopez or something george lopez dragon ball z or like man i can't remember it i know some people love this anime but i used to wake up and i kid you not at least once or twice a week to this uh anime on adult swim he wore like red with white hair and like he had like the cat ears or something like that. I can't remember what the anime is called. Oh, yeah, really? right there. Inuasha. I, yeah, I, I had a feeling. One. Yeah, okay, cool. Sorry, that was a little brief. I used to wake up like once or two times a week to Inuasha at like 2 a.m. And mm. then I would hear the robot, which the robot guy, do you remember the robot guy who'd be like, welcome to Toonami. Yeah. We're going to go ahead and watch some more. You know what I mean? That was Finn from Adventure Time. Oh, really? Same voice actor, yeah. Huh. Popular guy. Yeah, yeah. Exactly. I mean, he played a lot more characters, yeah, too. Yeah, he probably but... made a lot more money on that. Yeah, man. yeah. But that was, like, a crazy thing. Yeah. Voice acting would be kind of cool to do. I've but I feel it. like there's, like, a realm of them, you know? Like, they yeah, kind of yeah, use yeah. a lot of the same people for a lot of the voices. Oh, yeah. Like, every every anime has, like, a Zoro in there. Oh, yeah. Same voice act, yeah, or Vegeta, yeah. yeah, like Piccolo's in there. Yeah. And when you gotta get the dubs and stuff over, like you're using all, a lot of yeah. the same people, exact same assets and yeah. people. It's hard to find people who talk all good, bro. I mean, you could just hire us. <laughs> do you have? Do you have a, a voice? Um, like, if you were to audition, like, let's say you're gonna, I be... I would have to see the character and like give mm. them a voice, you know? Okay, let me see if I could do this. I'm gonna search up just a like random AI anime character. Oh, you. So- <laughs> yeah, they really just gave me Tanjiro. Tanjiro. Yeah, yeah, bro. yeah. That's for sure, Tanjiro. All right, that's him. Yeah. So I'm him. All right. Sorry, my character. <laughs> my character's only only talks when he's spoken to. Hey, he's what are very... you? Hey, what are you doing here? <sighs> <laughs> I'm gay. 
What does it have to do with you being in the middle of a burning tower? Not regular gay. <laughs> Michael Jackson gay. <laughs> oh, okay. Told you, bro. That's pretty good, man. Oh, my gosh. Rocked his world, bro. Whew, we got to... This guy right here. <laughs> got to get hired. I wish you guys could zoom in on that, hopefully, in the after. Oh, uh, uh, yeah, maybe. Yeah. That was really good. Yeah. Here, I'll give you... I I'll see it now. original. I see it now. Hopefully, I yeah. can watch that back and be like, I can keep that. <laughs> I might not. You have it. the powers. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, uh, dude. It's it's, it's like a... I mean, it's it's kind of like a the same character you did, in a way, except less... Uh, special you know no, this is not the same type of guy bro yeah the, my so character, this okay bro, this guy looks like he's in space and he's looks like he's about to like tell you something okay uh, i probably start Man, a dialogue I hope, I hope i don't just sound like myself though like hey get out of here <laughs> if i if i you just gotta see where the, the road I, takes you bro hey what are you doing here get out that's probably it what i got so far oh okay you didn't want yeah. a conversation or nothing okay what are you doing here? That's pretty good. Yeah. It sounds like a game. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, I, well, okay. I, I thought I was asking you a question. Oh, I, I thought you okay. I didn't yeah, know. yeah, yeah. Hey. Oh, wait. Mm, mm, mm. Blue eyes, blue, blue, blue eyes, white dragon. <laughs> that helps out so much. Just try it, bro. It helps. What are you doing here? There you go. Nothing. <laughs> <laughs> I did a like a German accent with Ariel one time. I don't know what the heck I was saying. What does that sound like? Um, oh, I was. I I want. I, I feel like I was talking about something, and it's probably. I probably shouldn't do it again, hmm. but I will. Uh, I would say in terms of just bad accents, because I've never heard of a German talk. I've only heard like stereotypical comedy sketches level german accents yeah right so yeah. my experience is by no means any way authentic i have nothing but respect for german people and their yeah. cars yeah what if i like completely recited and my apologies an entire like <laughs> hitler, <laughs> hitler <laughs> like speech? hitler speech bar for bar bar bro. for bar yeah like just I later to, yeah it up, and I was like, oh, shit. oh actually actually it's it's more of it's more of Klaus from oh, from, from, <laughs> from American, American. Um, uh, is it American American Dad? Yeah, <laughs> that's what I'm. <laughs> yeah, I mean that's, that's pretty what good, I'm thinking bro. about. Yeah, I think that's all I remember. Or I would just say the Germans. Like that's the <laughs> only two things I feel is like I shouldn't have said. German? Maybe, maybe not. Hmm. It also could be King Julian, you know, <laughs> Madagascar. <laughs> but I have no idea. I like to move it, move it. That had my little brother in the chokehold for, like, the entire day. My little brother would be five years old on, like, the TVs. So they used to have the big backs on them. You know what I mean? These, there's, there's big back people yeah. now. But they used to be big back TVs back then. Mm. And he loved that. He would dance to it. My, my little brother was a dancer, bro. He would just move it, his entire body, sporadically in front of the TV and stuff. I thought something was wrong with him. Damn. Yeah. He was coordinated though. Like Sai, remember when Sai, bro, that Sai took over the world. Yeah. Like Gangnam yeah. style. That yeah. was such a, like, it's a real time. Yeah. And that was a beautiful time. Yeah. The, the dance was fun. Everybody was doing, now everybody wants to be Y, you know, I almost said Y. <laughs> everybody wants to be a be YN. YN. Doing whippets and I'll being tough and stuff. Yeah. Which is crazy. You know, it's, it's a very difficult time to be a normal person. In terms of like a young normal person, yeah. you know, because there's young normal, yeah, yeah, it's a different type of YN, yeah, exactly. <laughs> I had a, a used car manager one time. He was like, "I've been a veteran, which is illegal, <laughs> but I've said I was a veteran. I've said I was from X Y Z places. I've said I've been to the Alamo. I've been to Manhattan. I've done all these things that these clients tell me that mm. I have done, and I've done none of those things." I'm like, dang. I mean, you know, yeah. See why not? Right. He's like, I've sold cars though. I've sold cars like a <laughs> mug. I'm like, okay, cool. That's yeah. terrible. I, I don't know if he did say he was a veteran, but obviously Probably these people are. Yeah, these people are lying. Or just didn't correct somebody. And there was another uh, car salesman who used to uh, go to strip clubs with our financial manager. 
right? You know, like they send the numbers back to somebody and stuff. Like, hey, can you tell? Can you get them to this price? Okay, let me go talk to somebody. Mm. They would go talk to the finance manager. And anyway, so they got cool together, and yeah. uh, we were in the break room, and they were just talking. Actually, the finance manager was talking shit about the salesman while he was on the floor. <laughs> <Damn>. <laughs> it's it's a it's an environment, man. It's <laughs> fake. Yeah, it's fake as hell. He was like, man, I can't take Johnny to the strip club no more, man. He over here telling people, you know what car I sold today? <laughs> you know what commission <laughs> I made today? <laughs> and it's like, man, at this point, you should show your ass to the girl. <laughs> yeah. yeah. That's pretty good. But he had like a, he was older than me by like a few years, the salesman, Johnny. Yeah. And he just had like this attitude, like he was young for some reason. Mm. And I hope that don't happen to me, you know? Like yeah. I'm getting, I'm about to be 25, right? Well, we're about to be 25, and I don't feel like any type of way about it. When I was 21, if you would have said you was 25, I would have been like, "Damn, bro, you up there? Oof. You up there?" Or if I was 21 talking to a 25 year old, "Hey, man, Cougars like me. <laughs> it is what it is. Cougars yeah. like me, you know." But now I'm getting ready to be 25. Like I'll be seeing like young people, you know, even if they are normal having these like episodes where they're just like confused you know like social media is crazy man like these young yeah. kids like literally because we were around when we were around we we're still around it clearly yeah. but for us it was like technology was pioneering into a mode where it had not been before right like yeah. all times in history things have progressed yeah. but for us there was the myspace the tumblr the the facebook you know, the Instagram and stuff happened all around the same time, like 2012 like we or 2015, is right. Like, as We're all learning at the same pace. Yeah. These kids have grown up with the majority of their lives. Yeah. And they feed off the likes and they look for that type of approval from strangers, right? <laughs> so then you get to be 20 years old and all of a sudden, because it's, it's, it is a reality, social media doesn't matter that much, right? It's great when it's great, you don't need to depend on it, right? But these kids coming out of school, they have these brains that are kind of limited to one minute because of TikTok, right? They got a short-term uh, attention span. Wait, short-term? Is it short-term? Yeah. Anyways, short attention span. Yeah. And Has that been like... Everything's just proven? rapid. Huh? Has that been like proven? Proven to have yeah. short... Yeah. Like they have shorter attention spans now? Yeah, yeah. It's like a goldfish now. Like a little bit more than a goldfish. Because I'm like curious. I always hear that, but I never actually like looked into it. Well, we know that kids have short attention spans. Oh, there's a thing you have a conversation with them too. So. Okay. Let's go ahead and get chat GPT in the room. Okay. So I want to know if kids nowadays, like the past couple of years with social media and stuff, have shorter attention spans than kids back in the day. Like if social media is affecting their attention spans and if this is true science or just some hoopity hoopla people would be saying <laughs> Eminem be saying that <laughs> hoopity hoopla <laughs> research does suggest that social media and the constant exposure to quick bite-sized content like tiktoks and instagram reels can make it harder for people especially younger ones to focus for longer periods the idea is that all these fast high stimulus inputs train the brain to expect instant gratification was that's pretty impressive that sounded like a real person yeah. it like the pauses in between like if i if i literally if i kid you not i'm so like surprised by how good that was like that actually felt like you were if i closed my eyes i would have felt like that was a tv somebody was interviewing like a researcher a doctor yeah. a student of some kind and you just made that happen like that yeah. from talking to it and like a weird like hoopla part was like this is being stupid and then they siri or whatever ai said it and had such a like a cadence as if you are a human which yeah. is so like, weird ah, hoopla yeah, yeah and 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 when when she was exp like she was explaining she would take breaks in between and then say right and then keep going from there and it would just be like spot on to what i think the actual conversation should be going yeah. that this ai is that's concerning can you feel love I don't actually feel emotions like a person does. Understand and recognize emotions based on what you tell me, and I can respond in a way that 
tries to be empathetic or supportive, but it's all based on patterns and programming. There aren't any real feelings behind it. What came first, the chicken or the egg? The classic question. Scientifically speaking, it's kind of a cycle, but most evidence points to the egg coming first. This is because at some point, a bird very similar to a chicken laid an egg, and due to a tiny mutation in the DNA, that egg hatched into what we recognize as a chicken. Mm -hmm. So technically, it was the egg that came first. That makes sense. Time until we got the first true chicken. Get out of here. Yeah, you're a genius. It had you to start being a chicken one day. Hate God. Oh, yeah, you hate God. <laughs> no. <laughs> you witch. Get out of here. We're done with AI. Yeah, they got to, bro. Yeah. <laughs> they you tried said, to turn course. me against the Lord. <laughs> yeah. What a dumbass. You almost went into the deep end, buddy. <laughs> oh, the drink the Kool Aid. <laughs> <laughs> You almost had to whip it. Bye. Well, man, we got we got AI, we got whippets, we got short attention span, we got voice acting. Man, what it, what pleasure is it really to be a part of a podcast? I did not get it for the longest time, but and I'm not even trying to like self worship myself or mm. nothing like that. I would say just genuinely having a discussion, a topic. You do not get to do that every day. Some no. people, some people live alone. Yeah. I've lived alone, and I said, "I've actually, I went a whole day without saying a damn thing, yeah. <laughs> or very few words." Yeah, I was like, "I don't think I've ever." Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'd be talking, <laughs> just, just yeah, talking. narrating your yeah. life, and then the toaster strudel. <laughs> yes. Yeah, I got that toaster strudel's back good. All right. <laughs> it's just, weird they come with two. It's never enough cream. <laughs> it's always, At this point, it's, I got it's, busy it's, on my own. <laughs> okay. All right. The second well, one wasn't as sweet as the first. <laughs> I mean, maybe not everybody should have a podcast. Maybe us included. 